do you think? What do you think? All right, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Noma's whole situation. So what was your overall thoughts about Noma throughout all the season that, well, the, the two seasons that we had? What were your thoughts about it? Like from initially what you thought to how she ended up? Initially, the first season she was around, it was poor, poor character development because we had we, we didn't hardly see her at all. Uh, she came up, she came on the scene chopping limbs off. So I'm thinking she's gonna be heavy pressed, but we never seen her. And Detroit Kings, everybody was saying she weak, she weak, she weak. I'm like, give her a chance, you know what I'm saying? Because we only saw her in like two or three episodes. But then, you know, they were right. This season, for most of the season, she been weak in a blender, eliminating everybody who she could count, who she could count on, like Obi. In hindsight, Obi the only person who had her back. And then, you know, she just looked weak until the until episode nine. That's when she started looking like a boss, kind of. But, you know, she been on defense the whole series, seemed like. That's the hottest put her in the blender. You got a donation. Uh, Kim gave you five. She said, I'm not mad at Diana. I felt her. I mean, now we all hurt. It is what it is. What you got to say? Yeah, I agree. Appreciate you, Kim. I agree. But Noma, it's like. Yeah, wasn't nothing else to really do with her. I mean, she was a weak, a weak, uh, big bad boss, man. You know, the the crazy thing is, as as much as we watch Power, we all know whenever there's a villain, we know that they're not going to be around and they might not be as strong as they are. But like as you said, when we first seen her, we were thinking that Noma was about to be this boss. She's going overseas. She did the setup with the husband, getting him out the game to take over the arms dealing. But it come to find out she's just a little sister to a, a whole larger operation. So it's like, damn. Hey, man, won't y'all give us the, the real deal character instead of every like piecing together? You know what I mean? These little bitty right. characters. You basically Claudia Flynn. <laughs> hey, facts. The little sister. And then we find out. The brother was like, I'm glad dad didn't come here, man. All this BS that you're going through. The brother was like, so I guess the brother's running the operation in, in Lagos. And then she's over here in New York. But it kind of seems like she went rogue. Because remember, he was talking about, so you're only here in New York because of what happened over in Italy. So it's like Noma just ran and she kind of tried to, you know what I'm saying, plant her, her roots over here. And it, it didn't really work out for her because she's not really like that. Yeah, and she like she eliminated the people who was closest to her and started trusting Kane and and Tariq. And, and, <laughs> and then Effie doing? out of nowhere, Effie get out of jail talking about yeah, Tariq trying to get your daughter on you. She's like, okay, well shit, I'm gonna make yeah. you my right she hand. I'm gonna let you it. right, man. If she wouldn't have did that, man, Tariq. You know, so I'm thinking if you gonna make somebody go and talk to the Russians, hey Obi. You need to go talk to. I'm not sending Effie to go talk to the Russians, man. You know what I mean? Like, I don't give a fuck who you think you can trust. I'm not sending Effie to broker none of my deals. It was because it was that skill set she got, man. She got the Russians, the computer, the, the computer stuff. She got it. She she fixed that time and got old girl in college. Fixed her swim time. Got her slow ass in college. She she yeah, about I mean, to bring it up I, the I rear. Though, but I would still have like Obi. I would have someone trustworthy there. I'm not sending Kane with Effie to handle some business with you know what I mean. Like I would have Obi go. Like hey Obi, when she go to talk right. to Russians, you be there because yeah. especially you started seeing how Kane was like, well, Noma, you need to give credit. Like Obi wasn't no no shit like that. Obi was like business is business. However you talk to us is however you talk to us. You the boss. But Kane's Obi's like man. biggest mistake, bro, was get Tariq. Was, uh, <laughs> uh, seeing, you know what I'm saying? Seeing the greatness of Tariq. He told us like he's brilliant. We need to keep him around. But like him, him having Tariq back because Tariq did the one thing for him that Noma wasn't trying to do. Just bring his family in. Just end up getting them smoke. <laughs> man, let me tell you, man. It was so many. So overall, I think we got like Shoot, I think we got maybe a hundred bodies in the fort. Well, I think in like the last two seasons, I wasn't keeping track of the first two. But man, there it's just bodies everywhere, man. And the thing that Noma and Anya went out in one episode. 
That Aya, the Aya murder, that was vicious, bro. Diana is a ninja with it, bro. She was hey, meant Diana. to be a ninja. We need Colombiana on the team. Tariq, go drop her off a pack. Tell her we, we hey, you a hitter now. She she could like get like <laughs> she could be a bodyguard. Now, what do you think of, <clears throat> about Noma? So you know they set that plan up. The brother said, "Don't go to the airport." That is a setup. If he knew that was a setup, like why they it do no like play too? The, the clear setup. Yeah, look, Noma, your jet has been booked for 10 p.m. departure. Check the app for details. She's like, we need to get there. Did you see the brother? The brother was talking to all the security and said, do not, do not mess with Noma. Y'all will get yourself killed. This is the dude that came out the basement right here, this brother. <laughs> But then nigga told him straight up, hey, don't fuck with Noma. We going home. She's going to get you killed. And Noma like, nah, we got him. Like, they made Noma. I mean, I guess it's the emotions for her daughter, but I, I just, I don't know, man. I, maybe they're showing that Noma has always been rogue from the family. She's going to do her own thing. You know what I mean? Noma should have came outside with the, with the burner. Like, what? How did you get here? Who dropped you off? She should have been asking questions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Instead, like sweetheart, sweetheart. And not only that, it was Kane's uh it was Kane's Range Rover. Now Tariq did hop in there. Hop yeah, it was Kane, point. like she should have known, like it was Kane's Range Rover out there. She should have known, oh, this is a setup, man. Like, what's going on? Who are you riding with? Whose car is hey, that? Tariq can't give a damn how you will smoke. Like, look at this, man. Tariq sitting out front in Kane's truck. So Noma coming down the stairs. Whoa. First of all, security ain't even doing shit. Security is just chilling. We don't know where they at. We got to be on high alert, man. And that's a hell of a stash spot, man. Noma got, they got some bread over there in Nigeria, bro. Shit, that's a real man. plug, man. Look Noma this, ain't got no money. The family house. got money now. Bro, yeah, Noma's a pack, but this is this is the, the, the safe house? Come on, man. This is crazy. Like, that's a real plug, man. Who the family, they family. A real plug. Appreciate you, EJ, for the membership gift. Sandra said, Why isn't this a gated community? I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I mean, I don't know how New York is. I don't like do they have gated communities in New York? I mean, it's a gate in front of the house. If you got real security, you're supposed to have security sitting up at the front door. Especially right. when we we were just we just got in the shootout. Security should be on high alert until we leave. Uh, duh. I did I I actually got something wrong. I thought Noma was gonna get away. I feel like that would have been better. I know it would have been another thing that was open, but I feel like them smoking iron was enough. Ooh, Diana, just get her on the team. <laughs> Apex, we we got one, man. Just imagine my great grandson with Diana's uh viciousness. That would have been crazy, but look, I'm intrigued by her character, man. I don't know how, what they're gonna do, but she she gotta be in one of these. She probably be in the cane joint. Yeah, I think she'll stay. In, let my whole thing is she'll stay in New York. Her and Tariq will still be cool, and maybe Tariq will like front or something, but. I think it'd be either Kane is sending stuff up to her, or she might get it from like Tariq and send it down to Kane to get him like started on his. Yeah, that makes more sense because Tariq is gonna have an overflow of product. Yeah, especially with just Effie running it by herself because he said he's not gonna be dealing with the day to day. Effie's running the Ivy Leagues. Braden is. Remember, he said Braden get another band. We're gonna get them underground parties back going. So that's two two pipelines right there, plus the Fight Club. They doing work over there too, so that's that's three three uh legitimate streams. Uh, not to mention who who Nico could probably plug them into, you know, yeah. just to, to fall in. So they do got a dip to uh, different uh pipelines or whatever. But I could see her definitely getting some work for Tariq. I mean, it's right there. It's one phone call away. It's not gonna be hard to find. Yeah, and even though Tariq don't really mess with like the other two Tahadas. He's always gonna mess with Diana just because of the connection they had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the 
even though she didn't cross him, but still, I feel like they over that. Um, yeah, he's still gonna mess with her. So, do you think? Do you think brother Chin? Well, he just gonna be supplying like, like the workers. He gonna be doing guns because remember, no one was trying to get into everything. It's like, hey, let's just focus on one specific item. You know what I mean? No one was trying to get them to do guns, move that work. You think he's just gonna get it? Uh, I'm hoping. Go. I'm hoping it's just the work, but uh, I mean, it, it better be because we we don't have the infrastructure to move no no uh no firearms. No. Yeah. I, don't want, I don't want my grandson trying to send that stuff down to Detroit, man. Because we don't got the infrastructure for that. So, yeah. I mean, it might it might work. Like, I mean, that's a nice yeah. little wrinkle. I mean, it depends on how it, it depends on how maybe large. That's how they bring Kane into it. I was I was ple- I was surprised that Kane and Tariq didn't have an argument. You know what I'm saying? They kind of kept it civil when in their interactions or whatever. I thought I felt like they was gonna, you know, have an argument or something, or they was gonna let Kane beat Tariq up again or something. Well, I think I think the reason all that happened is because, like, like Tariq said when he told him, he was like, "Man, I handled my end of the bargain." So I think Kane was just more upset about his mom. So it's like, man, all right, Tariq, man, whatever y'all got going on, I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm focused on getting revenge. You know what I mean? Right. So they they can coexist. It's just both of them, both of them appear to be apex predators. They just, you know, what I'm saying it's like, man, they gonna clash. They could work together. But they need a medium. If it's just them two trying to figure it out together, that's when they actually clash. Right. They actually, man, I, I was, I know it was far fetched. I was hoping they would lock in these episodes some kind of way. Like Monet, Monet is gone. I don't really get, because Kane don't really have no reason to hate Tariq. Yeah, Tariq Monet. was just trying to make money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, they put that battery in Kane's back talking about when Tariq took out his dad. So you got, we really got to look back at Monet. We already said she was the most ruthless, and Monet was really the true definition of fuck them kids because she was, even this season, she was throwing oh, no. Diana. It was such uh, a break that we forgot about part one of the, the whole season. That seemed like it was so long ago. Monet was ready to eliminate them kids. Like, yeah. it, it felt like it was two seasons because they took that long break and tried to milk us for a uh, subscription for money. But <laughs> honestly, you had to go back and watch those first five episodes. That was so long ago, but Monet was trying to eliminate her kids. And Tariq and, was about to eliminate Diana. It was a lot going on. And remember, even in the second part, Monet was willing to get Diana. Remember when they came and arrested Drew? Monet was about to let Diana get popped because she didn't want to snitch. Remember, she, they pulled the gun out on Diana, and then they were like, oh, it was Noma. But at first she was like, fuck it. You know, what I mean? <laughs> because even last week, Monet, you, the whole thing that I was talking about last week with Monet, she ran out on Tariq when the, the whole plan was we're going to kidnap Don Carter, put him in the back of the Pathfinder and Tariq, you will never hear from Don Carter again. Effie said Don Carter arrested Tariq. Monet literally left the scene, went home for five hours, took a shower, Changed clothes, put on a wig, and went to the wedding. She said, F Tariq. 